costing systems and managerial accounting, job order costing. The job order cost card is our source document. In other words, what the document that we use to identify who the customer is, what their specifications are, when we took the order, uh, whether this is a batch or a custom job, what the date of completion is, and then we collect the costs associated with this particular custom order. So for example, if I was making Harley-Davidson motorcycles, what happens is that when they first start making the motorcycle, they have like a frame that they're going to uh, hang the bike on as they assemble it. And the first thing that goes on that frame is the job order cost card. And that job order cost card specifies whether what kind of bike the customer wants, whether they want chrome, what color it is, all the special modifications that go into making that bike for that customer. So that's what would be filled out here. Batch or custom. Sometimes uh, you order more than one bike, and so that would be a batch run. In other words, you make five or ten bikes, that would be a batch, and they're all the same. Versus if you make one bike, that would be a custom order for that one bike. So that's an example of a batch run versus a custom. Now, when you collect your costs, you might have costs associated with making this product from previous periods. In other words, from yesterday, last month, and those costs would show up here. And notice that the ingredients in any product that we make are materials, labor, and overhead. If this was a service that I was making, instead of saying materials, it would say supplies, labor, and overhead. So previous costs of going into making that product or service. In this column, we would put the current cost. How much did we incur this month or today or this period? And then the previous month plus the current month get added together, and that gives me the total cost. So down here, this is the total cost of the job. Down at the bottom of the job order cost card, generally we will list the revenue, how much did the customer pay you for this particular job, compare that with the total cost of the job, and you can see if this job was profitable or not. Now these are the basic ingredients in any job order cost card. Will you modify your job order cost card for your particular product or service? Yes, you will. So this is just a, a fundamental um, scratch draft, so to speak. So you'll make it your own, won't you? So that's job order cost card basics in job order costing in managerial accounting.